Hey everybody, I am in the nursery and you're looking at Meadow and Mia and <laughs> you guys know what's up, you know what I'm about to do with them. <laughs> uh, I wanted to get them dressed, they've been in these white onesies since I took them out of their uh, what's a gym outfit and I feel really bad about it. I uh, want them to be able to wear a couple more summer things <laughs> before it gets fall even though guys I don't know if I'm the only one but I'm so over summertime <laughs> I am so over the, the heat now don't get me wrong I do not want it to be freezing cold uh, by any means but I'm so ready for fall it has been so hot here and not like I know other states have been way hotter and I'm thankful but it's been up in the 90s every day no wind and even like all of the other counties around us have been getting rain and we have not been getting any rain so it's like dry and nasty I'm gonna change their doctors because they've <laughs> had these on for a very long time I'm just ready for fall and then I don't know what it is about our area in the neighborhood or subdivision we live but the mosquitoes are so bad here and poor little Cody can't even go outside without having to be plastered in bug spray and then still even with the bug spray it seems like if you miss one little spot on his body they they find him and he happens to be allergic to the mosquito bites, guys. So they start as a regular mosquito bite. And then the next day they get swollen and hot. And they feel like an actual, like, infection. So it's been awful this summer trying to keep him from getting bit. And you don't want to shelter him in the house all the time. So, but anyway... Enough about whining about summer. I'm sorry, guys. A lot of people have it a lot worse. But I'm just ready for a fall. But anyway, Meadow's going to be wearing this cute little little uh, polka dot top in purple. I'm loving purple here lately, guys. With these little matching leggings that matches the bow. And uh, I hope she looks cute in this. This is some stuff I've been meaning to put on some of the babies I just haven't got around to it but uh I know Meadow is some of y'all's favorites she is uh getting up there in age and she what well, I think she's eight or nine years old already too <laughs> and she's starting to where I've noticed she needs a little bit of matte varnish not too bad she came with a dewy skin matte varnish so she She's a little bit like, she's supposed to be a little bit shinier, but I kind of don't like it. So I'm going to mat her eventually. But um, after this video, I'm going to do the what's in your, in your diaper bag video. That'll be for a newborn baby. What's in my diaper bag? Just because I promised it. Um... Yeah, we went to a few stores yesterday, just trying to kill some time and stay out of the heat. And all the fall baby clothes, guys, just so beautiful. Oh, look at her, so girly. Yeah, I'm just going to leave them barefoot. She looks so pretty, and I got her a bow. I just got a little pink bow to match the pink. Or does that even match? I can't really see in here, guys. I can't really see. See, that's not, it's kind of like a peaches, peaches, pink color. So I don't know which bow to use. I guess I'll just stick with the one I have. 
just been grabbing the first bows that I've been seeing because yeah that one's cute we'll do that one I don't want to dig through my headband collection guys I have an obsessive amount of headbands after all these years collecting and I've decided that I'm going to go through them and not get rid of them but just put some of them up cute Oh, how pretty, Miss Meadow. Yeah. Um, I know there's a few people that's been following for all these years. Do you guys remember how excited Julie was? Julie was in love with this baby when we first got her. She was so, so, so pretty. And she's definitely a forever baby. And I even got out my old pacifiers, guys. There's no new pacifiers in here. I just wanted to see. I'm kind of missing going through the pacifiers and finding one for outfits. I've been really lazy about that. I don't even know if there's one in here I can use for her. See, I'm not a lot fit her. She doesn't take a passy well. E neither one of these babies do. So I guess I won't even bother. But I just, I don't know. I miss some of the... Miss doing that sometimes. Let's see. Here's a plain pink. Does it fit you? Nope. But it does fit you. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll leave her like she is. And then Miss Nia, who I've decided her middle name would be. I've got a board I've wrote down all. Oh, her middle name is Paige, guys. I've got this board I've wrote down all their names. I'm going to hang up in here. But her, this is Mia Page, and she is going to wear this old, old, old Cat and Jack uh, outfit, still with tags. I think this outfit came out when uh, Cat and Jack first came out, too. And I'm not all into the neon colors like I used to be, but I thought it looked pretty with her skin. And it has a headband with it. Size newborn. So cute. Just wish it had uh, softer colors, but oh well. <laughs> I've got a few outfits that, with hot colors on there that I tend to not want to pick out. But it's summery. And summer is in full swing here. And I'm not looking forward to it getting dark at 5 30 or 6 o'clock. I'm not looking forward to that part of fall and winter either, but it's just miserable. The dogs are miserable. So, yeah. Um, for those of you that are interested, we still have Karma, and then we have... Julie's boyfriend's dog, Mavis, he's lived with us for a couple of years. Uh, her boy, Nate, her boyfriend, couldn't have him at their apartment complex anymore, so. And we have a huge fenced-in backyard, so he lives with us now. <laughs> that looks pretty on her. It does. And, um, and some of you all may or may not know that Raven did pass away. She passed away on 9-11 of 2019 and boy that was rough guys so rough i'm looking for my spray bottle but i don't think i need it yeah that was rough on julie she was pregnant with cody and it was rough it was sudden so we didn't really you know have time to really prepare for it so it was hard She's gone. Oh, cute. <laughs> that kind of looks cute on her. I actually like it on her. I'm glad I picked this out for her. But, um, yeah, Raven's gone. <laughs> but there's my two girls, my two M girls, Nia Page and Meadow Rain. And, um, I want to find them a pacifier. I don't know why I can't find one. 
I'm out of the pacifier game, guys. I don't know who wears what and who has a magnet where. See, that does not even match. But that's okay. Does that one match? <laughs> it just covers up their faces anyway. But yeah, oh, I forgot to change her butt. That's okay. She needed it worse. She needed it worse. She had on an old Pampers print. These are really hard to come by, guys. And I have, like, boy and girl unopened bags of these. Hopefully they, this don't seem to be the kind that tear up. That's good. But, yeah. There is my girls. And, hopefully... I'm going to find somewhere to put these shoes today because I went through all my other shoes and uh, I'm tired of looking at that mess under there. But yay, here they are. They're finally wearing an outfit. They've been laying in there in their white onesies. And wanted to finally change them. And they look so sweet. So girly. <laughs> But thank you for watching, guys, and I will see you in my What's in My Diaper Bag video, and um, just thank you for all your nice comments on my videos, guys. I appreciate all of them. Bye, everybody.